Imagine that you have had the obsession of swimming with a sperm whale since you were seven years old. And then, at some point in your life, you decide to stop waiting and finally do it. One day, you find yourself on the Caribbean island of Dominica. Because Dominica can give you exactly what you've been searching for for your whole life. The encounter with sperm whales. But before heading out to sea, you first explore the island. Because the terrain of the island plays an important role in why sperm whales are so abundant here. But to be honest, the beauty of nature in Dominica is not the only reason why I'm not heading straight out to sea. Currently, strong waves are preventing the search for sperm whales. So, for our little expedition, we are heading to one of the island's impressive rivers for now. So the Indian River meanders through extensive mangrove forests. These forests provide a habitat for numerous animals. In this way, important nutrients flow into the sea. These are the beginning of a food chain that starts at the sources of Dominica's rivers and ends with the sperm whales. Hummingbirds beat their wings extremely fast, resulting in an even more extreme energy expenditure. Therefore, they are almost constantly found foraging for food, This yellow-crowned night heron here is a bit more relaxed than a hummingbird. As it dries its feathers after a hopefully successful hunt on one of the numerous fish of the Indian River. The murky water of the river makes me ponder where it will soon flow. As important as the entry of nutrients into the nearby sea is, it also means murky visibility on the water surface. And underwater visibility is always something that concerns underwater filmmakers. But one cannot change the underwater visibility. You have to take what nature offers you at the time you are there. So, I enjoy the mangrove forests of the Indian River for a while longer, as our small boat slowly approaches the mouth. With mixed feelings, I await the days at sea. Will the search for sperm whales be successful at all? And will the animals bother to watch us, just as we watch them? Or will they simply ignore us and continue swimming? After all, there are supposedly 200 sperm whales in this marine region. So it should be possible to catch sight of at least one sperm whale for a few seconds. At least, that's what I hope. The search begins. And it's not as easy as we thought. For two days, we sail fruitlessly through the waters of the island.
Captain Jerry repeatedly lowers the hydrophone into the water, listening in vain for the clicks of the sperm whales. Now, one might wonder why I'm so crazy about sperm whales. The answer is, I don't know. I was just fascinated by them as a child. And that fascination has never faded to this day. It was simply love at first sight. But aside from the part one can't really explain, there are also a few facts about these animals that just leave me in deep admiration. Sperm whales are like the rock stars of the seas. They are the ultimate giants, swimming in the depths of the oceans. They are the largest toothed whales, making them the largest predators in the world. And on top of that, they hold this incredible diving record. They can dive over 2,000 meters deep and stay underwater for over an hour. Yeah! Bingo! That's what you call bingo. Okay, so... Bingo. Bingo, so... bingo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have, we have a few more here. We have a few animals here and uh, we're going to get you wet today. And look, how beautiful she is. By the way, the name of this lady is Can Opener. This somewhat quirky name derives from a bite wound on the right side of her fluke. She belongs to a social group called Unicue, consisting of other female sperm whales and their calves. Recently, can opener was selected by filmmaker Patrick Dykstra to carry a camera into the depths. In the depths, they use their clicks to locate their prey, such as the legendary giant squids. The maximum volume of these clicks is incredible. The clicks produced by sperm whales can reach a volume of up to 230 decibels. That's louder than a jet taking off. It is believed that they can use these clicks to paralyze their prey. Sperm whales are simply the coolest in the ocean, no doubt about it. Somehow, I was always certain that there would be this one moment in my life. This one moment toward which everything was moving. All the successes, all the pains, all the mistakes and detours aiming toward this one moment. This one point in the ocean of my life. And then it arrived. That moment. That breathtaking, peacemaking and redeeming moment.
200 or so sperm whales that call our sea home are prized citizens of Dominica, said Dominica's Prime Minister, Roosevelt Skerritt. Given the total of six boats licensed for whale snorkeling, along with numerous whale watching boats, and some additional boats pursuing whales without permits, one can safely call this successful PR. At the moment, far too many boats are allowed to be near a school of whales simultaneously. This is detrimental to the sperm whales due to the resulting stress, and in the long run, it's also harmful to the residents of Dominica who earn their livelihood from whale encounters. Sightings become less frequent with stressed animals, leading to dissatisfied guests. Yet, the fundamental idea of equating sperm whales with citizens contains a core I like. Because what if we finally recognize these highly intelligent whales as fellow inhabitants of this planet? We would be compelled to accept that we humans are not the sole crown of creation. That we share this planet with many other beings and do not have the right to regard the oceans as our sole property. On the contrary, we are even obligated to ensure that whales and all other beings find clean and healthy seas. Perhaps I'm just a dreamer. But if so, I want to dream that the sperm whale sanctuary, planned for March 1, 2024, in Dominican waters, regulates the currently loosely regulated whale watching and snorkeling in favor of genuine whale protection. And the sperm whales will truly become valued citizens, not only of Dominica, but of our Earth. That would be something we owe not only to the whales for a long time. It would be a matter of respect and recognition. And it would be the long-awaited salvation